Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to share with you how to make a cozy coffee station for fall plus how to make a beautiful coffee tray out of dollar store items. I love fall and with fall and cooler temperatures comes more coffee and I am a huge coffee fanatic. So today I wanted to show you how I put together a cute little coffee station in my dining room here plus how I put together a really cool tray. I just used all dollar store items and a few simple tools and I'm so happy with how this turned out. Coffee is my ultimate idea of relaxing but speaking of relaxing, I am so excited to share with you a really fantastic giveaway on my Instagram account. It's specifically for my Alberta, Canada followers and it's in partnership with AMA Travel. So I'm gonna leave a link to that giveaway down in the description box below. It sounds so amazing. It's a Caribbean cruise or a Mexican Riviera cruise up to seven days with Carnival Cruises. Again, check out the link in the description box below. Sounds so amazing and so exciting. Now let me show you how I made my coffee station and my dollar store coffee tray. Let's get started. So to make this tray, I found this artist panel at Dollarama, that's the dollar store here in Canada. I bought the largest one and I'm using this very thin wood stain in the color provincial. So all I did was I just stained this artist's panel. When I saw it in the Dollarama, I thought it would be the perfect piece for a tray. It was only a few dollars and staining it a different color makes it look nice and rich for fall. I like the warm color of this particular stain, but you can use any stain that you'd like and match it to your decor. So to stain this piece, I'm just using a foam craft brush and I'm just putting the stain all over the piece with the foam craft brush. And then after it sits for a few minutes, I'm just taking a rag and wiping the excess stain off. Now you don't have to stain the bottom of this piece because we are going to do another DIY treatment to that part and I'm going to show you that next. So once the stain is all dry, all the excess is wiped off, you can continue with this next step. So I found these tile stickers at the Dollarama as well. Sometimes Dollar Tree has similar things. These are just a peel and stick tile and they were only a couple dollars each as well. So I just cut them to size to fit the bottom of my tray. So I trimmed off any of the excess and then I just removed the backing of the peel and stick tile and stuck it to the bottom of the tray. Just make sure your tray is nice and clean and free from debris. So once I put one sheet down, I just kind of made some marks with a pencil on some other sheets and then I cut them to size and then I put them beside the original piece in the tray. I really liked working with these. I think these stickers are pretty good quality for a dollar store and I did buy some other types of these peel and stick tiles from Dollarama and I'm going to do some other projects with those so stay tuned to my channel and I'm going to show you the other projects I'm going to do with these peel and stick tiles very soon. Okay, now once the base of my tray was completed, I found this thrift store belt from Value Village. It was half price, so I only paid uh, $2.50 Canadian for it. I cut off some pieces that I thought would make some nice handle sizes, so about four inches or so long, and I cut two of these pieces and I saved the rest of the belt for some more DIY projects later. After that, I took a measuring tape and marked half an inch from each edge of the pieces of my belt with a pencil. Okay. 
and then I'm just using some black screws just make sure that they're not too long so they go through the sides of your tray and I'm marking three and a half inches from each edge of my tray so that my handle can be nice and wide enough for my hand to fit through. Next, I'm taking my drill and just drilling those screws through the marked holes in my piece of belt onto the tray. And this is a really inexpensive and fun way to create a handle. You might remember that I used thrift store belts to create some looped handles on an Ikea dresser hack I did a little while ago. I will link to that up in the right hand corner and down in the description box below. Thrifted leather belts are a really fun way and something really inexpensive and you can use them to create lots of different handles for your DIY projects. So here is how my DIY dollar store tray turned out. I am very happy with this piece. It was so inexpensive and I think it looks great. So now I'm in my dining room and I'm going to create a little coffee station on this side of my side table. So I have a lot of these copper mugs already. The bigger ones I found at HomeSense, the smaller ones are thrifted. And I'm just putting down a towel on the right hand side here. This one I found at Hobby Lobby, I think, when I visited the States earlier this year uh, because my espresso machine can get a little bit dirty. I love this espresso machine. I'm gonna link to this down below. I've had it for a couple years now and seriously, I am such a coffee snob now that I'm used to espresso from here. It's so good. So next to the machine, I put my DIY tray down. I gave my machine a nice good clean, which it definitely needed it because I use it a couple times a day, put everything back in its place. And then I put some of my flavorings beside the machine. I had this coffee tin. I believe this was from HomeSense a few years ago. These mugs were from Dollar Tree. I liked them as well, the cappuccino and the latte mug. And these mugs are my favorite. I found these at Dollarama, only a dollar fifty, and they're ceramic. And I love the vintage vibe, so cute. I only found a couple of these in white, and then I found a couple of these in orange. I'm gonna do a Halloween DIY with the orange ones soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm on the lookout for more of these. Then I put a cute little sugar tin on the tray as well as some faux leaves. These I believe were from Michael's a couple of years ago to decorate my tray for fall. So if you want your tray to be more functional and less decorative in your coffee station, you don't have to put as much stuff on it like I am, but mine's mostly going to be decorative. Honestly, um, I'm probably going to use other mugs for my own coffee, but then when guests come, I'll probably uh, use this tray as well. I decided to take out my Dollar Tree cups and put them kind of staged on my uh, espresso machine for now, putting my other flavoring there, moving the spoon to the side. I added my cop copper mugs on my coffee tray because I like the contrast of those with the Dollarama mugs. And then this little copper pumpkin is from Dollar Tree, love him, um, added that to my little tray as well to make my tray look like it is ready for autumn. I'm also adding one of my napkins. I found these at Simon's Canada. I use them to make DIY pillows in my living room. You might have seen that. And also on my fall tablescape, a couple of copper spoons. Found these at Walmart last year. And my fall coffee station is complete. I think this turned out really warm looking and inviting. I, again, just am so happy with how this dollar store tray turned out. I think it looks really expensive and it only costs me a few dollars. Another thing you can add to a coffee station or any fall styling are some twinkle lights. This string is copper string lights from Dollar Tree. Love them. I use them often. You might know already in my fall decor. They're definitely going to make a reappearance at Christmas time as well. I can't wait to enjoy this little corner of our dining room. I can't wait to make a ton of lattes here this season. And I hope you got some ideas on how you can make your own tray and coffee station yourself for fall. Thanks so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed this styling and this tutorial. Let me know down in those comments below what you thought of the tray and the coffee station styling. I would love to know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave a ton more videos for you to enjoy right up here.